It's 9 o'clock at night and the dull dudes on the planet are sitting in their slippers, sipping their sherries. But the people who love to rock and to roll are ready to ride the rock and roller coaster once more and rock all day and all of the night. Richard Curtis, creator of Notting Hill, Four Weddings and a Funeral, and Love Actually, was inspired by the true story of how the British government tried to ban rock and roll music from the radio to bring us his latest comedy, Pirate Radio. In 1964, all anybody could hear on British radio of pop music was about two hours a week. And this was the greatest time in British pop music, the Kinks, the Who, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones. You couldn't get it. That's the whole point of being the government. If you don't like something, you simply make it illegal. Until one American DJ and a band of renegades took to the seas to begin broadcasting 24 hours a day. You're listening to Radio Rock and I'm the Count, and I'm counting on you as we count down to ecstasy. There was a genuine innocence and enthusiasm about what they were offering, that you had the right to listen to this music whenever you wanted to. Hit it. <laughs> They became known as pirates, loved by millions, and despised by the government. They are the sewer of dirty, low morals. Busy day. Wow. 22 million kids used to tune in every day. And then, of course, they got outlaw status, which was even cooler. You're doing something dirty. Shut that filth up! Oh, we're going to shut them down. They can't close us down, we're pirates. They will find a way. Governments loathe people being free. This fall, experience the comedy about the untold story of the motley crew that saved rock and roll. Let's rock! This is a trick. We've got the wrong damn boat! Spectacular mistake. I was thinking one day, doing a list of my favorite films, and on that list of the top 10 films was Animal House and M.A.S.H., and I realized that this film was sort of both of those things, particularly M.A.S.H. with its tremendous informality and its loose structure. You sure that throwing him in is the best way to get him to learn how to swim? Absolutely. <laughs> on second thought, it might just be for kids. Goodbye! This is a comedy, and this is a romantic comedy in a lot of ways. The first moment I saw you, I fell in love with you. But there's this undercurrent of a very serious message. How much music means to people, it means a lot to them. It's changed their lives. I intend to broadcast from this ship until the day I die. Rock and roll! Rock and roll! And then for a couple days after that. They will come after us. Let them try. I'm fantastically excited to be able to make a movie where you've got an excuse to put all my favorite songs in the world the whole way through it, from beginning to end. These are the best days of our lives. Yes, well.